welcome back to another review by Projects. Um, in this part, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Rise of the Argonauts, uh, one of the first games we've recorded um, and played. Um, we haven't comment commented on it, um, um, it then because, um, well, the, we didn't have the equipment for um, recording um, the commentary, so... Um, in our walkthroughs, the commentary is not present, but, um, well, it's still a fun game to play. Um, so let's get on with the review. Um, Rise of the Argonauts is a game developed by Liquid Entertainment and published by Codemasters in 2008. Uh, the game itself features a few characters, but not too many, um, so the one playing it can actually focus on the story um, itself, and um, well, not lose, not lose the touch of um, the the story That's itself through the game. Um, the story is based on Jason um, and the Argonauts um, and on the Greek on Greek next, mythology. I promise you. Um, the whole part of the well, the main plot in the game is finding the assassin of Jason's wife. Um, Alcime, who got killed um, in the beginning the of the game. But I need to find the one who uh, the move. gameplay itself is quite oh, good. Yes. Um, it's a third-person no. role-playing game. Um, uh, the game itself can be quite challenging on from time to time, actually. Um, um, in in but the most most of the game is quite easy, so um, you can really focus on the story and not on the gameplay that much. Um, it's uh, The game is divided into parts, um, into four I think, um, no, three, um, based on the islands where you find the descendants of the gods. So um, you can adapt the, the story to how you like because you can travel to um, each of the islands separately, so... Um, you don't have to travel on the first island. The um, you can pick which island you travel like first, and then second, and uh, the the last one. Long story. Uh, the graphics in the game are good for your quite good. Um, they I come in three settings, and as most of the games, anyway, um, then in aboard. low, medium, and high. Um, and the. If we look at the time it's that the game was released, um, the graphics the are quite good, but um, could be better. Um, they could, um, um, if we compare to the other games that were released in 2008, uh, the, the graphics are not really that great. Um, they could be, well... Um, they could be better um, if we compare it to to the other games, but um, pretty much the game's not um, really much about graphics, but more about the, the story itself and the gameplay, um, because because just the the story pretty much keeps you in the game itself for. Uh, as long as you're playing it, um, and the gameplay offers quite a lot of diversity because of, because of the various weapons that you can get uh, throughout the game. Um, there are, I think, six or seven of them that you can switch switch through. Um, you can get to pick one of two on each island, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, um, the game itself, as said, is not really based much on graphics, but more more on the gameplay and the story. Um, the graphics themselves are still satisfying um, if we compare them to, 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 to the other games that were released in that time. Um, so, in my opinion, pretty much the game is uh, really great. Um, I especially like it because I myself am a great fan of mythology and especially Greek and Roman. 
Um, so if if you like that kind of stuff, I definitely recommend you guys to play it. Either, Jason. Um, the armor of the don't Guard don't just look at the graphics the themselves. Um, but the gameplay the gameplay kids. and the story the make up for for what 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 was lost um, in the graphics and the tweaking and um, and the, well Twins some parts at the gameplay. Um, the story itself is really great. Um, it features a lot of twists actually because um, the the game changes changes the whole story at the end. Um, it could use a bit more weapons, but um, due to the arsenal of powers and everything you already have, um, it still it still is really satisfying. So, um, in my opinion, it's really worth playing, so if you guys haven't played it yet, um, I suggest it to all of you, especially uh, the fans of Mythology. So, that's pretty much gonna be it for this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.